Websters, welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we will be discussing the recruitment pattern for TCS NQT in detail. We will cover everything that you need to know about the written test pattern, the syllabus, interview, salary and a few other details as well. You will not need to refer any other video apart from this. We will also be uploading hundreds of videos that will help you in your placement journey. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also click on the bell icon to be notified every time a new video goes up. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with the TCS NQT video. TCS NQT stands for National Qualifier Test, which is conducted by TCS. Over 3000 students have the opportunity to appear for this test. Initially, TCS used to visit only about 400 colleges for hiring. But this new pattern gives opportunities to a lot of rural people who do not get enough off-campus opportunities. The application for TCS NQT is a little confusing, but we've got you covered because we have a separate detailed video for this application process, the link to which is mentioned in the description box below. One good thing about this time is that earlier you had to sit for separate examinations for TCS Ninja and TCS Digital. But this time with only one single TCS NQT, you are eligible for both TCS Digital and TCS Ninja. The packages for TCS Ninja start at about 3.5 LPA and TCS Digital has a package of 6.5 to 7 LPA. The process of recruitment starts with the PPT, where the HRs of the company talk to the students about the company, its work culture, salary, various career and growth opportunities that are available at the company. After that, there is a Q&A round where the students can ask any questions they have related to the recruitment process or related to the company. This orientation is not mandatory for all the colleges and TCS visits only the grade A colleges for this orientation. The written test pattern has four sections, verbal, quants, coding and CMCQ. TCS NQT test pattern recently changed and we are discussing the most updated pattern here in this video. The aptitude section has 15 questions and you get 30 minutes to attempt it. For English, you have the closed test in which you get 15 questions and 10 minutes to solve it. There might be slight changes in this section and in case that happens, we will update our TCS NQT dashboard, the link to which is mentioned in the description box below. The CMCQ section or also called the programming logic section has 10 questions and 20 minutes. The coding ability round will have only one problem and 30 minutes for you to solve it. In total, there will be 41 questions and you will get 90 minutes to attempt these questions. We will discuss this in detail further in the video. The interview round can be really long and can last about 25 to 40 minutes. There will be one single interview round only, but there will be three panels on your interview. One will be managerial member, one will be an HR and the other will be a technical expert. More details on this interview round will be given further in the video. Once you are selected, you will get the offer letter between 10 to 15 days via email and the joining date will be between 3 to 6 months after that. The salary package offered is 3.4 to 3.6 LPA, which translates to 24,000 per month after deductions of taxes and PF. As for the new TCS NQT pattern, there are four sections in the written test, quantitative aptitude, verbal, CMCQ and coding. Let's discuss each of these in detail. The aptitude section has 15 questions and you get 30 minutes to attempt it. There is no separate logical section in the TCS NQT test, a few questions like blood relation topics are covered in this section itself. The most important topics for this section are probability, time and work, speed time distance, geometry and others mentioned on the screen. This section needs to be practiced very well. Out of the 15 questions, 3 to 4 will be star marked, also known as the non-MCQ type questions. You have to fill the value in the box that will be given to you and the value needs to be to the precision of two decimals. For example, if your time speed distance answer is 300.046, you have to write it as 300.05. These star marked questions or the non-NCQ type questions carry two marks and have no negative marking. The rest of the 11 to 12 questions carry one mark and have 0.33 negative marking. These are your basic MCQ type questions, where you will be given four options and you have to choose the correct one. In our online classes, we take special care of the star marked questions. Also, do not forget to check out the important formulas for geometry, the PDF link to which is mentioned below in the description box. 
the verbal section for TCS NQT is in the form of a closed test. This test has 15 questions and you get 10 minutes to solve the same. Closed test basically has a long paragraph with fill in the blanks for which you get three options and you have to choose the most grammatically correct one with respect to the tenses, articles, adjectives, prepositions, etc. Each question carries one mark and has a negative marking of 0.33. There are no star mark questions in this section. There might be a few changes in this hiring. In case that happens, we will update our TCS NQT dashboard, the link to which is mentioned in the description box below. The CMCQ section has 10 questions and an allotted time of 20 minutes. Out of these 10 questions, 7 questions are of MCQ type which carry 1 mark and have 0.33 negative marking. The other 3 questions are fill in the box type and carry no negative marking and 2 marks each. The topics in this section are loops, functions, arrays, recursion and iteration, file handling, variables and registers and a few other topics as mentioned on the screen. All the command line programming is not asked in the TCS coding section. There might be a few MCQ questions from CLP. We pay attention to these MCQ questions based on CLP in our online classes as well as online paid material. You will not find these anywhere else on the internet. We will also provide you a special discount code for these online classes and paid materials. You can find that in the description box below. The coding round has one problem and you get 30 minutes allotted to you to solve it. You can code in C, C++, Java, Perl or Python. Please note that you do not have to code in CLP. The code can be any of the following. Operations based on CDs printing, operations based on pattern printing or matrix printing. In our online classes for TCS NQT, we pay special attention to geometry, reasoning, CLP, etc. Almost 93% of our online class students get selected by TCS. So to ensure that you are one of the highest topmost percentile holders, do check out our online classes. We have a 20% discount code on our online smart materials and a 30% discount code for our online classes which are mentioned in the description box below. We also have a link to TCS most asked questions, the PDF link to which is mentioned again in the description box below. The interview for TCS is done in one single interview round. There will be a panel of three members, one from technical, one from HR and one from managerial. Each of them will ask you questions one by one. The technical member will ask you questions related to coding and your engineering specific subjects. The HR member will ask you workplace culture questions and general HR questions like where do you see yourself in the next five years, are you willing to relocate to another location and why do you want to join TCS in the first place. The managerial member will ask you stress-based questions and try and make you very uncomfortable by asking you situational analysis questions. For example, they may ask you if your best friend who's working in TCS as well is using TCS computers and the office hours to work on personal projects and clients, how will you handle this situation? The interview will be 30 to 50 minutes long and we will be doing a separate video for this interview process, the link to which we will mention in the description box as well. Okay, uh, hello guys. So we thought it would be a better idea if we also, me and Manish, uh, we also give you a little bit of idea about the pattern and you know the highlights that we may have missed in the video. So firstly, when uh, I talk about the coding section, so the time has been increased from 20 minutes to 30. So they are obviously giving you a hint about that. Yes, uh, this year, this is going to be a little difficult than it was last year. Also to talk about the programming language efficiency section, which is also called as the CMCQ section. Uh, there are a good amount of data structures that is being asked in that particular section. Uh, mainly you have linked list, uh, you have graphs, trees, greedy algorithms, AVL trees, B trees, and whatnot and you know so what we generally do we break down all these topics very specifically for you so that even people who are non-computer science and IT students are able to grasp it from the basics to an advanced level so that it would be easier for you because that has been not been given a 
proper attention to you in the college itself so when so there are questions from in order post order so we help we we try to help you on how to solve this within 5 seconds rather than wasting a good amount of 45 seconds or a minute in that so that's what we mainly do in the coding section and cmc with that i gently take care of uh to give you a better idea upon what we gently do in the aptitude section that we would be covering for the exam and tcs ninja and tcs digital as well i think manish would be uh the better person to answer it so so talking about the difficulty it has already increased and then yeah. talking about topics in quants especially in quants so tcs and qt they don't have a separate logical reasoning topic they have the reasoning combined in quants it's correct and then talking about reasoning no one even knows about sudoku i mean they have yeah. a special topic which is called sudoku and you can find it nowhere on the internet saying that they have a sudoku question in the tcs exam so the sudoku that we saw exactly, in the newspapers like the one you used to get in newspapers while right, in the childhood times right so that is one thing so that is very tough and then if you don't know how to solve that it's tough for in the exam and i mean you'll end up wasting 30 minutes or 20 minutes just to get an idea on how you approach to that but it's pretty simple and we have taken that up in our online classes and then yeah. talking about geometry so geometry yes. is very vast i mean childhood it takes you from class 7 to 10 to learn thousands of formulas in geometry but tcs it's it has a very specific geometry wherein you just need to know 22 to 23 formulas which we have covered in our online classes and there are very specific formulas such as if i give an example of atulya let's say there is a pyramid okay and then you know the volume how to find the volume for yes. pyramid let's say we take out a square out of a pyramid so you will know the formula for a square volume yeah so what you going to do in that case you will find the volume for pyramid minus times Subtract. the volume but that is going to take you more than 3 to 4 minutes yes. and the time which you have is 2 minutes for question cost of 15 questions and 30 so minutes is what you have so we have standard formula for that as well for tc is very specific to that and we have a formula you put in the size of the pyramid you put the radius of the square in that I, and you get the answer in 5 yes. seconds i think that uh, geometry pdf exactly, where exactly. 25 formulas is exactly, exactly Put value solve within five exactly. seconds. Exactly. So that is what. So that is what the USP for our classes is that, you know, we don't waste time on teaching a lot of things. We teach you whatever is needed for you, whatever is helpful for you in the exam. And ninety one percent of the people exactly. last year who joined the online classes got selected in DCS. Uh, when we compare it to the industry average, only seven percent clear the written round of all the people applying. So you know, seven percent and ninety percent obviously we'd be doing something right there. And that included with the smart dashboard with a lot of analytics. So uh, overall, uh, you know, uh, we wanted to make this video to help you as much as we can. And uh, previously, we've covered all important facts as well. So if still you have any questions, you can ask us. Uh, we'll answer all of those in the comment section. And me and Manish would also, at least for exactly. this particular video, we'll find time to answer some of Definitely. the comments at least. Definitely. Right. So uh, thank you so much. Thank you. We hope this video was helpful and do not forget to watch other TCS NQT related videos the links to which will be mentioned in the description box below Also make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel because we will be uploading daily videos for your placement preparation And if you have any queries or doubts please feel free to comment down below We also have a surprise for you which is a 25% discount code which will be mentioned again in the description box it will be a discount for online subscription material and online classes